play called Female Dogs by Barbara Lindsay. And my actors are Cameron Chapman and Jesse Malay. Make me sick, 
you really do. It's all platitudes with you. You're so far removed from the hell of the meat market, you think men are these worthy creatures who just need the love of a good woman to turn them into princes. It's true. That is such a pile of crap. What fairy tale do you think this is? Prince Charming doesn't stay with Snow White because he leaves Sleeping Beauty, who he leaves for Rapunzel, who he leaves for Goldilocks, who he leaves for Little Red Riding Hood and knows the theme here. Younger. Always younger. You're describing a certain number of men only. Every man is a seducible hound. That's not true. When push comes to shove, and bum comes to grind, the trouser worm wins every time. That's, no exception. That's absolutely not true. Name one, including Bree. Lou Gehrig. Based on that movie. The inside of the Yankees. The 1942 movie mm -hmm. starring Gary Cooper and Teresa Wright. This is your evidence. A movie script from the 40s? That's a little feeble, isn't it? And P.S. Gary Cooper had a long, passionate affair with Patricia Neal. Well, he was still married to his wife, Veronica. No movies. They're all crap only. There's a reason we believe all this bogus, cotton candy, airy fairy. Charles Boyer, the real man. Based on. He committed suicide after his wife died, which makes a good case for neediness, codependence, and emotional instability, but it's hardly proof of fidelity. Get out of Hollywood. Look in the real world. What about people we actually know? Oh, Bobby Stratton. From Bobby and Rebecca Cudley Pie. That's what I mean. I have never seen a couple more devoted to each other. He's always attentive, calls her from work, sends her flowers out of the blue. The man came on to me last New Year's Eve. At my house? In the bedroom. When I went to get my coat, he came on so hard, I almost called rape. You're kidding. I swear on my fertilized egg. Was he drunk? Does it matter? No. You're right. No. Disgusting. Guess the cuddly pie has some curdled cream in it. Why the edges you towards my rancorous little world, huh? All right. My grandfather, married to my grandmother 66 years and has never strayed once in thought, word, or deed. How do you know? I just know. I know him. Yeah. You know him as a geezer. What about in his 20s or 30s? Not a chance. You don't know. He couldn't. <laughs> How do you know? He isn't that kind of man. Every man is that kind of man. I'm telling you, Sandy. All right. Richard. Well, I was wondering when we were going to mention St. Richard the Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> kind of suspicious you didn't leave with your own husband, if you're so sure and all. I don't want him inside this awful conversation. You think St. Richard would never stray? Yes, absolutely. I could seduce him in half an hour and he doesn't even like me. He likes you all right. Fine, make it 15 minutes. You are high on bitterness. You tell me. It's impossible. I know Richard and I trust him completely. I could. Unmatched underwear and all. This is exactly why I didn't want to mention him. Because I knew you'd turn it into some kind of dare, or challenge, or something. Think about what you want. It would never happen. You want to bet? No! So you have doubt. No, I have maturity. I ask you, how am I going to use my doubt clothes? I'm not making my husband or my marriage the subject of a mean-spirited bet. Look at it this way. If you're right, you have the freer pleasure of seeing me make an ass of myself. I can see that in aerobics class. <laughs> <laughs> and well, 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 again. Oh, it's turning a little bitchy. Someone's maybe having a few doubts. Come on, chicken. What have you got to lose? Just to satisfy both our curiosities. I'm 
it. People are curious. It's only about how you're going to feel when you lose. They tell him he ruined the sport. Why would I tell him? He'd say no on his own. You're that sure. Let me put it this way. If you can take him, you can have him. Hey, I know plenty in here. I was just going to sell him for 50 bucks. And you know what you'd have? One less friend and one more cheating man on your list. I know you're hurting right now, so I'm not going to say what you deserve to hear, but be careful, Kyla. This is an ugly game you're playing.